China launched a 5,000-ton ship with no weapons on its entire body, but the U.S. nuclear submarine was scared to flee? Let's take a closer look in this video. As the sea-based platform for Trinity nuclear strikes, nuclear submarines have been one of the most feared weapons by the militaries of various countries since their birth due to their good concealment and difficulty in being discovered. In order to timely detect the underwater nuclear submarine, countries all over the world are actively developing various countermeasure weapons such as anti-submarine machine attack, anti-submarine warship, etc. to deal with the threat of nuclear submarines. Some time ago, China launched a 5,000 tons giant double-hole monster ship. It was not equipped with any weapons, but it could scare the underwater nuclear submarines. No matter how far the submarine hides, it will eventually be discovered by it. It is known as the most terrifying ghost killer in the ocean, capable of killing people invisible. So it obviously has no weapons on it, so why are American nuclear submarines so afraid of it? What is so great about this new national heavy weapon? This mysterious catamaran is China's newly developed Type 927 Marine Acoustic Surveillance Ship. The Type 927 Underwater Acoustic Survey Ship is a new weapon equipped by the Chinese Navy in the new century. Its project works began construction in 2017 at the earliest. Speaking of the use of this new ship, it has a huge effect on the Chinese naval forces. It specializes in the detection and tracking of underwater submarines and is a large-scale detection ship dedicated to anti-submarine. The new type of weapon, the Hydroacoustic Survey Ship, was actually first proposed and built by the United States. With the rapid development of nuclear submarine technology in various countries in the world, the United States, as a powerful maritime military power, also has a foreboding of the significant impact of nuclear submarines in the underwater field. In the face of increasing underwater threats, the United States successively built multiple types of underwater acoustic survey ships in the 1980s and 1990s, including the world-renowned Impeccable Survey Ship. The Impeccable was equipped with the most advanced underwater passive surveillance towed array sonar in the United States at the time. It can accurately detect underwater acoustic features, coupled with equipment such as sound velocity measuring instrument, sound tracker and satellite communication system, once made it one of the most powerful anti-submarine detection ships in the world. But we didn't expect that the United States, with such an anti-submarine weapon, was not simply used to detect its own waters, but instead drove the impeccable into the South China Sea to collect intelligence. As an anti-submarine ship, the impeccable's purpose of breaking into Chinese waters can be imagined. Its purpose is to monitor the movements of Chinese nuclear submarines. Therefore, after the impeccable entered the South China Sea, it was blocked by five law enforcement ships of the Chinese Navy. This incident is known as the impeccable incident. After this incident, China's military industry has also realized the importance of the underwater field and has also launched the development of underwater acoustic measurement ships in an all-round way so as to more clearly grasp the movements of underwater vehicles. And this is the origin of the Type 927 Hydroacoustic Survey Ship Project. How strong is China's domestically produced Type 927 Underwater Acoustic Measurement Ship? American nuclear submarines can only detour when they see it. The shape design of the Type 927 Hydroacoustic Survey Ship is similar to that of the American-style survey ship Impeccable, and they all adopt the shape of a catamaran. The length of the entire hull is about 90 meters, the width of the ship is about 30 meters, 
The full load displacement is about 5,000 tons and the maximum speed at sea can reach 12 knots. Due to the double hull design, the Type 927 survey vessel can work stably in harsh sea conditions with strong winds and waves. It is reported that the power plant of the Type 927 underwater acoustic survey ship is equipped with an advanced, integrated electric propulsion system which uses a diesel engine to drive a generator. There is also a generator to drive the propulsion motor specially configured on the hull. Although this electric propulsion device reduces the maximum speed of the 927 to 12 knots, it minimizes the noise generated by itself during sailing. After all, as an anti-submarine detection ship, if the Type 927 itself is too noisy, it will not only affect the detection accuracy of the underwater sonar, but will also generate a huge underwater acoustic signal. Once the exposed whereabouts are discovered by the underwater nuclear submarine, the consequences are obviously quite dangerous. Therefore, an electric propulsion system for quiet sailing is particularly important for the Type 927. As for the most important detection device, the stern of the Type 927 survey ship has a dedicated towed sonar port. The sonar detection device carried on the mission will be put into the water from the stern of the Type 927 hull to monitor the traces of various underwater vehicles. The sonar detection device will realize the detection of the entire sea area along with the continuous navigation of the Type 927 survey ship. According to relevant information, the detection device carried by the Type 927 Underwater Acoustic Survey Ship is a domestic long receiving array, CI towed sonar. The length of the underwater sonar streamer can reach about 1,500 meters to 1,800 meters, and the maximum underwater detection depth can reach 450 meters. The electronic equipment on the ship can record the sonar detection work in real time. Once the nuclear submarine is exposed, it will be captured by the detection system immediately. The Type 927 survey ship is equipped with two sonar detection modes, passive sonar and active sonar. Passive sonar is mainly responsible for monitoring the acoustic signals emitted by underwater objects in real time, while active sonar searches for underwater underwater vehicle acoustic signals by emitting acoustic signals, and the search range and accuracy become larger. In terms of detection effect, the search performance of active sonar is undoubtedly more powerful, but at the same time, it is very easy to expose one's whereabouts because of the need to send sonic signals. Therefore, the detection method of active sonar is a high-risk and high-reward search scheme. But no matter which detection method is used, as long as the trace of the nuclear submarine is found, it will definitely be a huge achievement. This is because once a nuclear submarine is accidentally exposed underwater, and discovered by a Type 927 survey ship, the consequences will undoubtedly be very dangerous. The avionics equipment of the Type 927 survey ship is equipped with a data link system for communication, which can quickly transmit the position and data to shore-based platforms or frigates and destroyers at sea, after finding the whereabouts of nuclear submarines. These large ships equipped with anti-submarine weapons will immediately form a formation to search for underwater nuclear submarines. This makes the Type 927 survey ship fearful of nuclear submarines even though it does not carry any weapons. Because no one knows how many warships are behind a Type 927 survey ship waiting for an opportunity. Moreover, the Type 927 is not completely unarmed. On the whole deck, the Type 927 has a platform for helicopter takeoff and landing. 
This means that the 927 survey ship can carry anti-submarine armed helicopters to perform tasks, and the strength of the anti-submarine system has been further increased. The advent of the Type 927 underwater acoustic survey ship has greatly enhanced China's maritime defense force. Although the Type 927 survey ship is only an auxiliary ship in the system, its significance to the Chinese Navy is no less than a main battleship. Some military experts even directly stated that the value of the Type 927 survey ship is no less than that of the Type 055 destroyer. It is not difficult to see from this that as long as the Type 927 underwater acoustic surveillance ship still exists, in China's waters, there will be basically no country that dares to invade China's waters. It is worth mentioning that, in addition to detecting nuclear submarines, the Type 927 underwater acoustic surveillance ship can also play a very important role in some submarine detection projects. Because the sonar equipment it carries can not only detect the bottom terrain, but also accurately detect the underwater temperature and salinity. This information has also played a very important role in China's research in the marine field. Although the 927 type underwater acoustic surveillance ship has not been in service for a long time, it has brought a very important protective effect to the safety of China's territorial waters. We believe that in the near future, China will have more and more weapons and equipment like the Type 927 underwater acoustic surveillance ship to protect China's territory and sea area security. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.